The Cincinnati Bengals and Carson Palmer, not the Steelers, won the NFC North last year. Herm Edwards, new coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. Larry Johnson had 100 yards, nine straight games in the year last year. Tom, here's a 16-yard run, and early on, looked like he'd have his 10th in a row because it's a 10-yard game. Yeah, you see the tremendous holes that are open in the front line by the Kansas City Chiefs, and Larry Johnson does a great job of following those blocks and making the most of it, getting the extra yards at the end of the run. So now we go no huddle. And first and 10 from the Chief 12, it's uh, Chad Palmer hitting Chad Johnson for an eight-yard game. Then a few plays later, it's Kelly Washington. And then Palmer and no huddle. Doesn't mean they are all big strikers. It's Although this one goes for 15 yards to Chad Johnson. Bushman's on it, didn't play this game. And two plays later, Palmer to Chad Johnson. Makes the turn before he's brought down by Ty Law. Then you soften him up pass. Then you bang Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. 22-yard run, 88-yard drive, 11 plays, 10-3 Cincinnati. Rudy Johnson again up the middle. Boy, the Bengals line. Do people know that this is good well, yet? Well, they, they benefit from a solid offensive line, and with that receiving core, you're never going to have more than seven in the box. And that's Kenny Watson taking the pitch and running in. Bengals lead it by the count of 17 to 3. Now the Chiefs lose the starting tackles and fullback from last year. Pass protection, you tell me, Tom. Justin Smith plows over Kyle Turley. Well, you have to remember that Kyle Turley is a lot lighter right now, and he's a guy been been out of the league for two years, and you're trying to replace Willie Roll. And then Trent Green, 80 straight starts, look out. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. And you knew it right when you saw it. Hit by Robert Gathers, and the next replay is the one that will get you the most because this is super slow motion, but watch the helmet hit that hard. And he was out for many minutes. He was taken off. The news, and we'll have a report in a minute, was better than it looked, but that's easy for us to say. Just anxious, anxious moments. Damon Hewitt, last pass completed in the NFL Christmas Eve 2000. Here's a sack by Justin Smith. It's a fumbling whip, and then the big guy rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, picks it up. Cincinnati defense all over with sacks. Carson Palmer completed nine straight at one point. Larry Johnson did not get the 100-yard gains all in all. The Bengals, impressive in their win, 23-10 over Kansas City at Arrowhead. But thoughts, obviously, of Trent Green, Bob Holtzman, a report. Chiefs quarterback Trent Green is expected to remain in the hospital until at least Monday. The good news is team president Carl Peterson says x-rays on Green's head and neck were negative, and Green has feeling in his arms and legs. I mean, it's... But um, it's part of the game, man. We know that, I mean, they could have been, I could have got cleaned out out there today, you know, but it's part of the game, and we just move on to the next play. You don't see a lot of hits like that in pro football. You, you, you see some, but when they're that bad, it's, it's tough. But Trent's a warrior. Uh, wish him the best, and that's really all that matters right now is his health. Peterson says Green remembers every play except that hit. As for Green's return, Chiefs head coach Herm Edwards says doctors will determine that. In Kansas City, Bob Holtzman, ESPN. And Tommy, you played this game long and hard, and uh, Trent Green, I mean, 80 straight starts, mm -hmm. it took the blow, I mean, it was not a flat, not an no. illegal hit, no. just slid late, and hopefully the news every day gets better for Trent Green. On the Bengals side, it's a tough place to win. I was very impressed. Well, Again. they showed great balance on offense. You saw the running of Rudy Johnson and Watson. You saw the, the receiving core, even without T.J. Hushmanzana. Uh, I'm telling you that Carson Palmer is as good a thrower as I've ever seen in this league. And now the big question, how much have they improved defensively? Certainly look like they had today. And if they can do that on a week-to-week -week basis, they're going to be a player at the end. The Bengals have a brutal schedule, especially the first six, seven games. One of the tough stops was week one at Arrowhead. That's they right. won that game.